You know, it was a great honour to be able to create new characters, just as they do in the show. So each season, Stephen Knight really convincingly introduces brand new characters to the show that seem seemingly have been there forever. They're always tied into the family history in some way. And he positively encouraged us to do exactly the same thing. When we start to think about rivals, it was again looking at gangs, looking at history, which is something that Stephen Knight does so well is he often refers to historical characters that give you that believability like Churchill. So we've kind of followed the same inspiration path for developing our own characters. Last chance to turn back. Yeah, I didn't think so. One of the new characters we've introduced to the world of Peaky Blinders is Rowena Fox, who is your character, Sam Taylor's aunt. And she's been smuggling goods for the Shelbys for quite some time and she's your main introduction to the world and leads you into the events of the game. If we work as Unite, we can change things. So alongside the Peaky Blinders themselves, um, the player's going to come up against uh, the Winter's Children, who are a communist group Although they believe that Marx was right and that capitalism will eat itself, they also think that that's going to take a lot of time. They want to hasten the end of capitalism through violent means, and uh, they're a very dangerous faction who will use any opportunity they get to advance their means. I am not one to give up. I found other ways of uh, making money. Feng Ho is one of the main rivals in the game, and he leads the Tong, who are a criminal organisation in London. So we looked at history uh, and Chinese gangs and the Tong were a gang that had appeared around London and there were a couple of um, historical references to those worlds. So it was really important, again, touching on authenticity, that we recreated faithfully like some of the locations of the show because they are so iconic. One of the other things we also wanted to do was part of with the story that we've got in the game was create new locations but also have them relatable to the TV show. So for example, Limehouse um, and London, um, so we can have the game's got its own unique locations and its own unique characters on top of all the ones that we've already got from the TV show. I must see to my business, but I shall return. <laughs>